What's up everyone? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's video, I am going to be covering the top 5 most powerful assault rifles to use inside of this new Season 7 Battle Royale update. I am going to be ranking these 5 insanely powerful weapons based on their time to kill and their overall versatility on the battlefield. And I am going to be showcasing you the best gunsmith builds you can get your hands on and their most recommended mods to use inside of the Battle Royale. The entire thing may be a little bit longer, but the video and the loadouts will be extremely helpful for all of my fellow viewers. That's why I am suggesting you to stick to the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the post notifications. And please make sure to hit the like button below as this helps me a lot to make contents like this for you. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 5 spot, we have the ASM-10, which is a great alternative for the high damage weapons, like the Odin and the AK-47. The ASM-10 is a very good medium to long range assault rifle, which has moderate recoil in the first few shots. After that, the recoil will kick in noticeably harder. Similar to the weapons like the EM-2 and the AK-47, this assault rifle also delivers a tremendous amount of damage per bullet. It has almost little to no bullet spread, making it beam enemies at long ranges. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for this assault rifle, which comes with a custom optical attachment. This loadout is completely recoil friendly, and it provides you with some insanely optimized performance as well. Anyways, for the mods with the ASM-10, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the precise shot mods to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 4 spot, we have the Maddox, which according to my opinion, is performing slightly better than the M in the present state of the Battle Royale. This is a fully automatic assault rifle with high rate of fire, which is highly effective at medium ranges. The Maddox is one of the above average assault rifles, compared with other assault rifles, like the M4 or the Kilo 141. However, it is also one of the most user-friendly and easiest rifles to use. The Maddox sports a decent time to kill at close to mid-range with its default ammunition. Although the recoil pattern is obvious, it can be easily controlled. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the Maddox, which is highly compatible for mid-range engagements. It is a high-performance loadout, with pretty much zero recoil issue, and the overall accuracy of this build is pretty compact as well. Anyways, for the mods with the Maddox, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the long-range mods, and the precise shot mods to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 3 spot, we have the brand new BP-50, which is one of the best high-tier weapon in the current state of the Battle Royale. This is a modular bullpup assault rifle, chambered with 5.56 magazine. The BP-50 can be a great alternative, as well as the greatest rival of the AK-117 which is a pretty similar option to use in the Battle Royale. This weapon can tear down the competition with a high rate of fire and exceptional accuracy for dominating at medium to long range engagements. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the BP-50, which is highly compatible for medium to long range engagements. It is a suppressed loadout with pretty much zero recoil issue. And this build comes with the classic red dot sight as well. For the mods with the BP-50, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the long-range mods, and the vertical recoil control mods to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 2 spot, we have the AK-47 which is by far the most powerful and most balanced assault rifle inside of the Battle Royale. It features a high damage with very little drop-off at range and a rather tight ADS bullet spread. This allows it to outgun several other assault rifles at mid to long range. The downsides of this weapon are the rather low rate of fire, forcing the player to be accurate and the average recoil it has. Still, it is by far the best option to use in the entire section of the assault rifles. 
Here is the best custom gunsmith loadout of this high-tier assault rifle, where I have mainly focused on the damage range and the bullet spread accuracy, specifically for the long-range battles. This build has incredible recoil management, and it comes with a classic red dot sight as well. Anyways, for the mods with this assault rifle, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the precise shot, or the long-range mods, and the vertical recoil control mods to get the most effective results possible. And now, before we get to our number one spot, we have the M13 as the honorable mention. It is slightly harder to use, but better than the Maddox or the Kilo 141. The M13 is one of the above average assault rifles compared with other assault rifles like the M4 or the FF AR1. However, it is also one of the most balanced assault rifles to use. The M13 sports a decent time to kill at close to mid-range with its default ammunition. Although the recoil pattern is obvious, but it can be easily controlled. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the M13, which is highly compatible for close to mid-range engagements. It is a high-performance loadout, with pretty much zero recoil issue, and the overall accuracy of this build is pretty compact as well. For the mods with the M13, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the long-range mods to get the most effective results possible. And finally, coming at number one spot, we once again have the AK-117, which is a moderate damage per bullet weapon. The rate of fire of this weapon is above average in its class, which makes it is easy to track targets compared to slower firing weapons such as the majority of high damage assault rifles. Its versatility makes it a top choice for both close and mid-range engagements. The AK-117 has many different recoil patterns which randomly takes place in each trigger pull. All patterns have overall low recoil magnitude with slight horizontal deviations. The overall mobility of this weapon is slightly above average for its class, but an extended magazine is highly recommended, considering its fast fire rate. Here is the best custom gunsmith build for the AK-117, which is highly compatible for close to mid-range engagements. It is a suppressed loadout with pretty much zero recoil problem, and this build comes with the classic red dot sight as well. Anyways, for the mods with the AK-117, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the hip-fire boost mods to get the most effective results possible.